Imagine a hidden force that's shaping your life right now. It's invisible, but it's always there, quietly influencing everything you do. This force determines whether you succeed or fail, whether you're happy or sad, and even how much money you make. Sounds crazy, right? But here's the thing. This force is real, and it's called energy vibration. In this video, we're going to dive deep into the 12 levels of energy vibration and how they secretly control your success. This isn't some woo-woo nonsense or get-rich-quick scheme. It's a no-BS guide to understanding the energy that flows through you and how you can use it to transform your life. So buckle up, because what you're about to learn might just change everything. Now, you might be thinking, energy vibration? That sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie. But stick with me, because this is as real as it gets. Every single thing in the universe, including you, is made up of energy. And this energy doesn't just sit still, it vibrates. The level at which your energy vibrates has a massive impact on your life. It affects how you think, how you feel, and the results you get in everything you do. Here's the kicker. Most people have no idea this is happening. They're going through life, wondering why things never seem to work out for them, why they can't catch a break, or why success always feels just out of reach. But once you understand these 12 levels of energy vibration, you'll have the key to unlocking a life you never thought possible. In the next few minutes, I'm going to break down each of these levels for you. We'll start at the bottom and work our way up to the highest vibrations. You'll learn where you are right now, and more importantly, how to raise your vibration to attract more success, happiness, and abundance into your life. This isn't about positive thinking or wishful dreaming. It's about understanding the fundamental laws of energy that govern our universe and using them to your advantage. Let's start with the basics. What exactly are energy vibrations? Think of it like this. Everything in the universe is made up of tiny particles that are constantly moving. This movement creates energy, and this energy vibrates at different frequencies. It's kind of like a radio. Different stations broadcast at different frequencies, and you tune into the one you want to hear. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Your thoughts, emotions, and actions all have their own energy frequency. And just like a radio station, you're constantly broadcasting this energy out into the world. The frequency you're broadcasting at determines what you attract back into your life. It's like a cosmic game of matchmaking. Your energy vibration attracts people, opportunities, and experiences that match it. So, we've established that energy vibrates at different frequencies. But how do we make sense of all these different frequencies? This is where the 12 levels of vibration come in. Think of these levels as a ladder. At the bottom, we have the lowest vibrations, things like fear, guilt, and shame. As we move up the ladder, the vibrations get higher, and we start to see things like courage, love, and joy. At the very top, we have the highest vibrations, peace, enlightenment, and bliss. Now, you might be wondering, do I have to be at the top level all the time to be successful? Not at all. In fact, it's normal and healthy to move between different levels throughout your day. The key is to understand where you are, recognize when you're slipping into lower vibrations, and know how to lift yourself back up. Here's why this is so important for your success. Your vibration level affects everything in your life. It influences how you think, how you feel, and how you act. When you're vibrating at a low level, you're more likely to make poor decisions, miss opportunities, and attract negative experiences. But when you're vibrating at a higher level, you become a magnet for success. You think more clearly, you feel more confident, and you take inspired action that leads to amazing results. Understanding these levels gives you a roadmap for success. It helps you identify what's holding you back and shows you exactly what you need to do to move forward. It's like having a secret manual for life. Once you know how to read it, everything becomes clearer. But here's the best part. You have the power to change your vibration. You're not stuck at any one level. With the right knowledge and tools, you can consciously raise your vibration and transform your life. And that's exactly what we're going to learn how to do in this video. Now that we understand what energy vibrations are and why they matter, let's take a quick tour of all 12 levels. We'll start at the bottom and work our way up. Remember, this isn't about judging where you are. 
It's about understanding the full spectrum of human experience and recognizing where you have the potential to grow. At the very bottom, we have level one, shame. This is the lowest vibration, where you feel worthless and powerless. Moving up, we have level two, guilt, where you feel bad about something you've done. Level three is apathy, where you just don't care about anything anymore. As we start to climb, we reach level four, grief. This is where you're dealing with loss and sadness. Level five is fear, which can paralyze you and hold you back from taking action. Level six is desire, where you start to want things, but you're coming from a place of lack. Now we're getting into the middle range. Level seven is anger, which actually has more energy than the lower levels, but it's still destructive if not channeled properly. Level eight is pride, where you start to feel good about yourself, but it's based on external factors. We're now entering the higher vibrations. Level 9 is courage, where you start to take bold action towards your goals. Level 10 is neutrality, where you're able to go with the flow and accept what is. Level 11 is willingness, where you're open to new possibilities and eager to grow. Finally, at the top, we have level 12, love. This isn't just romantic love, but a state of unconditional love and acceptance for yourself and everything around you. It's the highest vibration in the state where miracles happen. Now, you might be wondering, how do these levels actually affect my success? Great question. Let's break it down. When you're in the lower levels, 1 to 3, success feels almost impossible. You're so bogged down by negative emotions that you can't even see opportunities, let alone take advantage of them. It's like trying to run a race with heavy weights tied to your feet. In the middle lower levels, 4 to 6, you might have moments of success, but they're often short-lived. You're still operating from a place of lack and fear, which means you're more likely to sabotage yourself or give up when things get tough. As you move into the middle higher levels, 7 to 9, things start to shift. You have more energy and motivation, which means you're more likely to take action towards your goals. Success starts to feel possible, and you begin to see results. But it's in the highest levels, 10 to 12, where the magic really happens. When you're operating at these frequencies, success becomes almost effortless. You're aligned with your true purpose, you're open to opportunities, and you're coming from a place of abundance rather than lack. This is where you start to achieve things you never thought possible. Here's the key thing to remember. Your vibration isn't fixed. You have the power to move up these levels and change your life. And as you do, you'll find that success becomes easier and more natural. It's not about forcing things to happen, but about aligning yourself with the energy of success. Now, let's talk about the journey up this vibrational ladder. First off, it's important to understand that this isn't a one-time trip. Life isn't about reaching the top level and staying there forever. Instead, think of it as a dance. You'll move up and down these levels throughout your life and even throughout your day. The goal isn't to beat yourself up when you find yourself in a lower vibration. We all have moments of fear, sadness, or anger. These are normal human emotions. The key is to recognize where you are and know how to lift yourself back up. This journey is about awareness and choice. When you understand these levels, you start to become more aware of your emotional state and how it's affecting your life. You begin to notice when you're slipping into lower vibrations and you can choose to take steps to raise your energy. It's also important to remember that this journey is gradual. You don't jump from shame straight to love overnight. Instead, you move up one level at a time. Each step up is a victory, and each level teaches you something valuable. As you move up the levels, you'll notice some interesting changes. Problems that used to seem huge start to look smaller. Opportunities you never noticed before start to appear. You'll find yourself feeling more confident, more creative, and more in control of your life. But here's the really cool part. As you raise your vibration, you start to positively affect those around you too. Your higher energy lifts up the people in your life. You become a beacon of positivity and success, inspiring others to raise their own vibration. This journey up the vibrational ladder is the key to unlocking your full potential. It's about becoming the best version of yourself and creating a life that truly excites you. And the best part? This journey is available to everyone. No matter where you're starting from, 
you have the power to raise your vibration and transform your life. In the next sections, we're going to dive deeper into each of these levels. We'll explore what they look like in real life, how they affect your success, and most importantly, how to move from the lower levels to the higher ones. Get ready, because you're about to embark on the most important journey of your life, the journey to your highest self. Let's start our journey at the bottom of the vibrational ladder. These first three levels, shame, guilt, and apathy, are the lowest vibrations. When you're here, life feels heavy, dark, and hopeless. It's like being stuck in quicksand. The more you struggle, the deeper you sink. Level one is shame. This is the lowest point where you feel completely worthless. You might think, I'm a bad person, or I don't deserve anything good. Shame isn't just feeling bad about something you've done. It's feeling bad about who you are at your core. Moving up slightly, we have level two, guilt. Here, you're still feeling bad, but it's about something you've done rather than who you are. You might be caught in a loop of, I should have, or I shouldn't have. Guilt can be useful if it leads to positive change, but often it just keeps us stuck in the past. Level three is apathy. At this level, you've given up. You don't care anymore. It might seem like apathy is better than shame or guilt, but it's actually just as damaging. When you're apathetic, you don't even try to make things better. You're just going through the motions of life without any real engagement. Now, let's talk about how these low vibrations affect your success, or rather, how they hold you back from it. When you're vibrating at these levels, success feels impossible. It's like trying to climb a mountain with a boulder tied to your back. In the state of shame, you don't even try to succeed because you don't believe you deserve it. You might sabotage opportunities because deep down, you don't think you're worthy of good things. This level can lead to self-destructive behaviors that push success even further away. When you're in guilt, you're too focused on past mistakes to see present opportunities. You might hesitate to take risks or try new things because you're afraid of messing up again. This fear of failure becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, keeping you stuck where you are. In the state of apathy, you've given up on success altogether. You might go to work, pay your bills, and go through the motions of life, but there's no passion or drive. Without that spark of desire or ambition, it's almost impossible to achieve any meaningful success. These low vibrations also affect how others perceive you. When you're vibrating at these levels, you give off an energy that can make others uncomfortable or want to avoid you. This can lead to missed opportunities in both your personal and professional life. The first step to moving out of these low vibrations is recognizing when you're in them. It's not always obvious. Sometimes we can get so used to feeling bad that we think it's normal, but there are signs you can look out for. Constantly putting yourself down. Avoiding social situations because you feel unworthy. Having trouble accepting compliments or good things in your life. Feeling like you're fundamentally flawed or broken. Replaying past mistakes over and over in your mind. Apologizing excessively, even for small things. Punishing yourself for past actions. Feeling like you need to make up for something all the time. A lack of enthusiasm for things you used to enjoy. Difficulty making decisions because nothing seems to matter. A sense of hopelessness about the future. Going through life on autopilot without really engaging. It's important to remember that experiencing these thoughts and behaviors doesn't make you a bad person. We all dip into these lower vibrations sometimes. The key is to recognize when it's happening so you can take steps to lift yourself up. One powerful tool for recognizing these states is mindfulness. Start paying attention to your thoughts and feelings throughout the day. Notice when you're being hard on yourself or when you're feeling hopeless. Just the act of becoming aware can be the first step towards change. Another helpful practice is to keep a journal. Write down your thoughts and feelings each day. Over time, you might start to notice patterns. Maybe certain situations trigger feelings of shame. Or perhaps you tend to fall into apathy when you're overwhelmed. Remember, recognizing these low vibrations isn't about beating yourself up. It's about gaining awareness so you can make a change. In the next sections, we'll talk about how to start moving up from these lower levels to higher, more empowering vibrations. As we move up the vibrational ladder, we come to levels 4, 5, and 6, grief, 
fear, and desire. These levels are still considered low vibrations, but they mark the beginning of a shift. You're starting to engage with life again, even if it's not always in a positive way. Level 4 is grief. This is where you're dealing with loss and sadness. It might be the loss of a person, a relationship, a job, or even an idea about yourself for your life. Grief is painful, but it's also a natural and necessary part of life. Moving up, we have level 5, fear. Fear can be paralyzing, but it also shows that you're starting to think about the future. You're no longer stuck in the past, like with guilt, or completely disengaged, like with apathy. Fear means you care about what happens next. Level 6 is desire. At this level, you're starting to want things again. You're not just reacting to life, but actively thinking about what you'd like to have or achieve. However, desire at this level often comes from a place of lack. You're focused on what you don't have. Even though these levels are still considered low vibrations, they're a significant improvement from the bottom three. Here's why. In grief, you're feeling pain, but that pain comes from having cared about something. It's a reminder that you have the capacity to love and connect, which is crucial for success and happiness. Fear, while uncomfortable, can be a powerful motivator. It means you're thinking about the future and considering potential outcomes. This forward thinking is essential for setting goals and making plans. Desire is the first step towards ambition. When you start wanting things, you're beginning to envision a different future for yourself. This is the seed of all achievement. At these levels, success starts to feel possible again, even if it still seems far away. You're no longer completely stuck. There's movement and potential for change. If you find yourself in the bottom three levels, shame, guilt, apathy, here are some strategies to help you move up to these middle or levels. Acknowledge your feelings. Don't try to push away negative emotions. Recognize them, name them, and allow yourself to feel them. This acknowledgement is the first step towards healing. Seek support. Talking to friends, family, or a therapist can help you process difficult emotions. Remember, you don't have to go through this alone. Practice self-compassion. Treat yourself with kindness. Instead of harsh self-criticism, try to speak to yourself as you would to a good friend. Focus on small actions. When you're in a low vibration, even small tasks can feel overwhelming. Start with tiny, manageable actions. Maybe it's just getting out of bed, taking a shower, or going for a short walk. Connect with others. Isolation can keep you stuck in low vibrations. Even if you don't feel like it, try to maintain connections with others. Sometimes just being around people can help lift your energy. Find a sense of purpose. Look for ways to help others or contribute to something larger than yourself. This can help shift your focus away from your own pain and towards making a positive impact. Practice gratitude. Even in difficult times, try to find small things to be grateful for. This can help shift your perspective and raise your vibration. Take care of your physical health. Eat nutritious foods. Try to get enough sleep and engage in some form of physical activity. Your physical state greatly influences your emotional state. Remember, moving up these levels is a process. Be patient with yourself. Every small step forward is a victory. As you practice these strategies, you'll find yourself gradually shifting into higher vibrations, opening the door to greater success and fulfillment in your life. Now we're moving into the higher vibrations, starting with level 7, 8, and 9. Anger, pride, and courage. These levels mark a significant shift in energy. You're no longer just reacting to life. You're starting to take charge. Level 7 is anger. Now, you might be thinking, how is anger a higher vibration? Well, anger actually has more energy than the lower levels. When you're angry, you're no longer accepting things as they are. You want change. Moving up, we have level 8, pride. This is where you start to feel good about yourself and your accomplishments. You're recognizing your own worth and the value you bring to the world. Level 9 is courage. This is where things really start to shift. Courage is about facing your fears and taking action despite them. It's about stepping out of your comfort zone and going after what you want. These higher vibrations are where you really start to see a change in your ability to succeed. Here's how each level contributes. Anger, 
when channeled properly, can be a powerful motivator. It can give you the energy to stand up for yourself, make changes, and fight for what you believe in. Many successful movements for social change started with anger at injustice. Pride gives you confidence. When you believe in yourself and your abilities, you're more likely to take on challenges and persist in the face of obstacles. Pride helps you recognize your own value, which is crucial when negotiating, networking, or putting yourself out there. Courage is where the magic happens. This is where you start taking real action towards your goals. You're willing to try new things, take risks, and step outside your comfort zone. Almost every successful person will tell you that courage was a key factor in their journey. At these levels, success starts to feel not just possible, but probable. You're no longer held back by the fear and self-doubt of the lower levels. Instead, you're propelled forward by your own energy and determination. Anger. Think about Martin Luther King Jr. His anger at racial injustice fueled a movement that changed the course of history. He didn't let his anger turn destructive. Instead, he channeled it into powerful, peaceful action. Pride. Consider Serena Williams, one of the greatest tennis players of all time. Her pride in her abilities and her accomplishments has given her the confidence to dominate her sport for decades. She knows her worth and isn't afraid to show it. Courage. Look at Elon Musk. Whether you agree with him or not, there's no denying his courage in taking on massive challenges. From electric cars to space travel, he's not afraid to think big and take risks. These examples show that operating at these higher vibrations isn't just about feeling good. It's about taking action and making things happen. Remember, the goal isn't to stay at any one level all the time. Even highly successful people move up and down the vibrational scale. The key is to recognize where you are and know how to lift yourself up when you need to. As you practice operating at these higher vibrations, you'll find that success becomes more natural. You'll be more confident, more motivated, and more willing to go after what you want. In the next sections, We'll explore how to consistently raise your vibration even higher, unlocking levels of success and fulfillment you might never have thought possible. We've now reached the highest levels of vibration, neutrality, willingness, and love. These states represent the pinnacle of human consciousness and have the power to completely transform your life and your success. Level 10 is neutrality. This isn't about not caring, but rather about accepting what is without resistance. It's a state of flow where you're able to navigate life's ups and downs with ease. Moving up, we have level 11, willingness. This is where you're open to all possibilities. You're not just accepting what is, but you're actively engaged and ready to participate fully in life. Finally, we reach level 12, love. This isn't just romantic love, but a state of unconditional love and acceptance for yourself, others, and life itself. It's a state of complete alignment with the universe. These highest vibrations have an incredibly powerful impact on your success. Here's how. Neutrality allows you to stay calm and centered even in challenging situations. This clarity of mind helps you make better decisions and see opportunities that others might miss. You're not swayed by temporary setbacks or overly excited by small wins. You maintain a steady course towards your goals. Willingness opens you up to new possibilities. You're not stuck in old patterns or limited by preconceived notions. This openness allows you to pivot when necessary, try new approaches, and say yes to opportunities that align with your goals. Love, at this level, is a force multiplier for success. When you're operating from a state of love, you're aligned with your deepest purpose. You're not driven by fear or lack but by a desire to contribute and create value. This alignment attracts opportunities, resources, and people that can help you succeed. At these levels, success becomes almost effortless. You're no longer pushing against the current, but flowing with it. You're able to achieve more with less struggle, and your success tends to have a positive impact not just on your life, but on the lives of others as well. It's important to understand that consistently operating at these highest levels is rare. Most people touch these states occasionally, but maintaining them takes practice and dedication. Why is it so rare? Because our society often pulls us towards lower vibrations. We're bombarded with messages of fear, lack, and competition. 
Many of our institutions and systems are built on these lower vibrational states. Additionally, our own habits and patterns can keep us stuck in lower vibrations. It's comfortable and familiar, even if it's not serving us well. Moving to these higher states often requires us to face our fears, let go of old beliefs, and step into the unknown. But here's the good news. While it's rare to consistently operate at these levels, it's absolutely possible. Every time you touch these states, even briefly, you're creating new neural pathways. You're training your brain and your energy field to vibrate at these higher frequencies. The key is to recognize these states when you experience them and to consciously cultivate them in your life. With practice, you can spend more and more time in these highest vibrations, unlocking levels of success and fulfillment beyond what you might have thought possible. Now that we understand the power of these higher vibrations, let's talk about how to actually raise your vibration. Here are some practical tips you can start using right away. Practice mindfulness. Start paying attention to your thoughts and feelings. When you notice yourself slipping into lower vibrations, take a deep breath and consciously choose to shift your energy. Gratitude. Make a daily habit of noting things you're grateful for. This simple practice can quickly shift your vibration from lower to higher levels. Positive affirmations. Use positive statements to reinforce high vibrational thoughts. For example, I am worthy of success or I am aligned with my highest purpose. Meditation. Regular meditation can help you develop the ability to control your thoughts and emotions, allowing you to maintain higher vibrations more consistently. Physical exercise. Moving your body releases endorphins and raises your overall energy. Find a form of exercise you enjoy and make it a regular part of your routine. Healthy diet. What you eat affects your energy. Focus on whole, nutrient-rich foods that make you feel good and energized. Surround yourself with high-vibe people. The people around you have a big impact on your energy. Seek out relationships with positive, supportive individuals. Practice forgiveness. Holding onto grudges keeps you in lower vibrations. Practice forgiving others and yourself to free up your energy for higher states. Pursue your passions. Doing things you love naturally raises your vibration. Make time for hobbies and activities that bring you joy. Act with kindness. Helping others and spreading kindness not only raises the vibration of those around you, but lifts your own energy as well. Start with a few minutes of meditation or deep breathing. Write down three things you're grateful for. Set a positive intention for the day. Take short, vibration breaks. Pause for a few deep breaths and reset your energy. Practice mindfulness during routine activities like eating or walking. Look for opportunities to spread kindness and positivity. Reflect on positive moments from your day. Practice forgiveness for any negative interactions. Engage in a calming activity like reading or gentle stretching before bed. Remember, raising your vibration is a journey, not a destination. It takes time and consistent effort to shift your default energy state. You might have days where you feel like you're vibrating at the highest levels, and other days where you struggle to get out of the lower vibrations. This is normal and part of the process. The key is to be patient with yourself and to stay consistent with your practices. Every time you choose a higher vibration, you're strengthening that energy within you. Over time, you'll find it easier to maintain these higher states. Also, don't expect perfection. The goal isn't to never experience lower vibrations. That's not realistic or even desirable. Lower vibrations like grief or anger can serve important purposes in our lives. The goal is to be able to recognize where you are on the vibrational scale and have the tools to lift yourself up when needed. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small. Every step up the vibrational ladder is a victory. As you consistently practice raising your vibration, you'll start to see changes in all areas of your life. Your relationships will improve, Opportunities will seem to appear out of nowhere, and you'll find yourself achieving your goals with greater ease. Let's look at some inspiring stories of people who have changed their lives by understanding and applying the principles of energy vibration. Sarah was stuck in a cycle of low-paying jobs and unfulfilling relationships. She often found herself operating at the levels of apathy and fear. After learning about energy vibrations, she started practicing gratitude daily and using positive affirmations. 
Within months, she noticed a shift. She felt more confident at work, which led to a promotion. Her relationships improved as she started attracting more positive people into her life. Today, Sarah runs her own successful business and is in a loving, supportive relationship. She credits her success to consistently working on raising her vibration. Mark was a talented artist who struggled with self-doubt and fear of failure. He rarely shared his work, operating at the level of shame. After a friend introduced him to the concept of energy vibrations, Mark started meditating daily and practicing self-compassion. As his vibration rose to the levels of pride and courage, he began sharing his art online. To his surprise, his work was well-received. Today, Mark's art is featured in galleries across the country. He says that understanding energy vibrations gave him the courage to pursue his dreams. Lisa was a high-powered executive who seemed successful on the outside, but inside she was stressed and unhappy, often operating at the level of anger. She decided to learn about energy vibrations and started incorporating mindfulness and kindness into her daily life. As she raised her vibration to the levels of willingness and love, she found a new sense of purpose. She left her corporate job to start a non-profit organization that helps underprivileged youth. Lisa says she's never felt more fulfilled, and her organization is making a real difference in her community. In each of these stories, we see a common thread. As these individuals raise their vibration, new opportunities opened up for them. But it wasn't just about attracting good things. It was about becoming the kind of person who could recognize and act on those opportunities. Sarah's shift from apathy and fear to higher vibrations gave her the confidence to pursue her dreams. Mark's movement from shame to pride and courage allowed him to share his talents with the world. Lisa's transformation from anger to willingness and love led her to find her true purpose. These stories show us that success isn't just about external circumstances. It's about our internal state. When we operate at higher vibrations, we become more aligned with our true selves. We make better decisions, attract supportive people and circumstances, and find the courage to pursue our goals. If these stories inspire you, remember, you have the same potential within you. Every person has the ability to raise their vibration and transform their life. It doesn't matter where you're starting from. Whether you're currently experiencing low vibrations or you're already operating at higher levels, there's always room for growth. Start small. Choose one practice from this video. Maybe it's daily gratitude, or a short meditation practice, or using positive affirmations. Commit to doing it consistently for a month. Notice how your energy shifts, even in subtle ways. Be patient with yourself. Remember, this is a journey. You might have days where you fall back into lower vibrations, and that's okay. What matters is that you keep coming back to these practices, keep choosing to raise your vibration. Trust the process. As you consistently work on raising your vibration, you'll start to see changes in your life. It might start small. Maybe you'll feel a little more optimistic, or you'll handle a stressful situation with more ease. But over time, these small changes add up to big transformations. You have the power to change your life by changing your energy. Your success story is waiting to be written. All it takes is the decision to start and the commitment to keep going. You've got this. As we wrap up our journey through the 12 levels of energy vibration, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned. We've explored how these invisible forces shape our lives, influencing everything from our daily experiences to our long-term success. We've seen how moving from lower to higher vibrations can transform not just our internal state, but our external reality as well. Remember, understanding these levels isn't about judging where you are. It's about recognizing that you have the power to change your vibration and by doing so, change your life. Whether you're currently resonating with the lower vibrations of shame and fear, or you're touching the higher realms of willingness and love, there's always room for growth and expansion. The key takeaway is this. Your vibration is not fixed. It's a dynamic, ever-changing aspect of your being that you have the power to influence. Through practices like mindfulness, gratitude, and positive affirmations, you can gradually lift your energy to higher levels. And as you do, you'll find that success becomes not just possible, but natural. Remember the success stories we shared. 
These weren't extraordinary people with special powers. They were ordinary individuals who decided to take control of their energy and, in doing so, transform their lives. You have that same potential within you. As you move forward from here, I encourage you to pay attention to your vibration. Notice how different thoughts, actions, and environments affect your energy. Practice the techniques we've discussed to lift yourself to higher vibrations. Be patient with yourself, celebrate your progress, and trust in the process. The journey of raising your vibration is ongoing. There will be ups and downs, moments of breakthrough, and moments of challenge. But with each step you take, with each conscious choice to lift your energy, you're creating a new reality for yourself. You're aligning with success, happiness, and fulfillment on a profound level. Remember, the power to change your life lies within you. It's in the energy you bring to each moment, each interaction, each decision. By understanding and consciously working with the 12 levels of energy vibration, you're not just unlocking the secret to success. You're unlocking the full potential of who you are. So go forth with this knowledge. Apply these principles in your life. Watch as your energy shifts, as new opportunities appear, as success becomes your natural state of being. Your journey to higher vibration starts now. Embrace it, enjoy it, and get ready for the amazing transformations that await you. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of the 12 levels of energy vibration. Here's to your success, your growth, and your journey to your highest self. Remember, you have the power to shape your reality. Now go out there and shine your light.